Morning, Donnie Walker. <clears throat> How's it going today? Nice out today, a little cooler now. Our heat wave's kind of gone away, which is nice. Talked about those fires. They got that one out by my parents' house in the area out there by Lady Smith. It's still uh, standing out there watching it though, making sure it's all not gonna come flare up again. So yeah, I'm gonna talk about some 500 eyes again. Um, found a few more situations. This is my this is my test saw here. And I downloaded it yesterday. It has 263 hours, 27 minutes, 14 seconds of runtime. That's a fair bit. It idled at 47% of its time and full throttle at 40% of its time during those, all those hours. So I've had a few of these now and my test one here as well. Sort of like the 661, but the 500 here in the top cover, it's moving around and it's too thin and not heavy duty enough. These little pegs here, you can see them. Little pegs in here. One, two, three. Uno, dos, dos, tres. I don't know, a little bit of Mexican. Anyways, um, so they sit down in these, in these little spots here, these round little holders, little bushings. Um, rubber with steel insert <clears throat> so what's happening is that they're coming these are coming loose and starting to shake around and wearing these little pegs off just like the 661 did the way they lock these ones on the top it's kind of neat but it ain't just it ain't working too great so this slides into your your cylinder here cover on top so that's sitting in there, <clears throat> and as you turn it with your screwdriver, it, it locks it in. It's like, a, it's like a little cam system here, pin locks in. They're not coming off, they're just coming, they just come loose because of the wear, just the vibration and the movement. So I just figured out yesterday, I gotta come up with something to keep these on better. Uh, I only have two of these left in stock, <clears throat> and apparently no more in Canada, so. We'll fix this and the guys shouldn't have to have an extra one unless they smacked your saw or something like that my test saw did get a little bit of a, a roll down a hill i had to put a new starter on it that's the only new part i really had to put on besides this top cover now and plus their crummy bar plates that are wearing out right away now i've noticed this part number for this bar plate has changed back to the original reverses back to the original part number of the better one, the thicker one. So if you order this part number now, that's for a 500i or a 462 bar plate, uh, you'll get the thicker ones. Unfortunately, we're back ordered on them right now, but they'll eventually come in. A lot of stuff's being slow right now with this whole uh, stuff going on in the world. Yeah, so these uh, side covers as well. <clears throat> these rubbers here, you look at this. It's so war right away. The, the chain's just slapping in here, taking out this rubber right away, because you know guys run them, they get a bit loose or fall off. They just don't have all that much distance in here. If you measure a, a 066 or 046, they got more room in here. So if this chain's a bit slack or something, it's starting to hit in here and eats out this guard right away. You know, my dust flap helps. It, it gets rid of the solders, but it doesn't help this wear. I'm coming up with some Teflon ones that I'm gonna build for these. Um, I got uh, one out now with a buddy, and I, and I also took some rubber matting, you know, like, um, um, what do you call it? Oh, it's a uh, conveyor belt, conveyor belt mat, uh, conveyor belting, super strong stuff. So I made one for a guy yesterday um, and put it into here, and then put the leather flap on. We'll see how long that lasts. Okay, so big wear factors, bar plate, side covers also on my test saw the chain brake wasn't working and right in here your cover above the clutch drum it's it's different now it's there's not much room here and it, it kind of tapers up so the chain's been wearing in here creating a hole see the hole hole right in there so all the sawdust and stuff's going in there, chain oil and sawdust. And it was so built up that when he did try to put the chain brake on, 
he broke the little actuator pin in there and you don't see that happen very often so i uh, replaced that and i've ordered some more of these covers so that's another wear part that's going to happen so if your chain brakes aren't working aren't coming on good you need to go in there and service that area clean it out so i think when you service your saw you should take those two little bolts out and clean off in there that's for your own safety and for your own peace of mind you gotta have a chain break seen too many cuts okay so let's get on to the top cover thing that i did here so this is your standard standard locker lock thing okay so what i did i took this part took this rubber off it so easy eh? overall though this saw has been running flawlessly it runs really nice um haven't had any issues starts good runs good good power okay so anyways you get that off and now you got this mechanism here this flat plate is the part i need to, to do what i'm doing for this fix so I take and drive this pin out of here, cut it off if you want with a little zip saw to, to get this black little uh, plate out of there. Then what I do with that little plate is I take a, a six by 25 millimeter bolt, six by 25, spot weld it, I use braze, just spot weld it onto that plate. Put the screw through that rubber piece. So you can still use that rubber as a cushion and uh, to keep it uh, the clearance off the top of the cylinder. Now, just simply put this back in your cylinder and replace the, the one you had in there. So we're gonna put that into there now. When I'm bad, now you got a screw that sits up there instead of that uh, system. And the top, and now on the cover, because of the little cam lock things you have here, I'll show you one, exactly what I did. Come on over there. I'll just put it over there. What I did is, the little nubbins that sit up where the cam thing rides over and locks in. I just grind those down with my little uh, my little um, grinder at work, and so it's so the wa a washer can fit flat on there. Okay. So there you go. There's the new cover without this mechanism, but I've changed it and put that one on. So just set your cover now on the saw. Make sure the, where the little pegs go into are still in good shape. This one was. So there you go. That's on there now. Then I've taken like a flat washer, drill it out to the eight millimeter or for around around five sixteenths, or we're up to your own quarter inch, I think. Anyways, you get what I mean. To fit over this stud that I built the bolt, set it on there. Get yourself a six millimeter lock nut. I use um, um, metal lock nuts, not nylon ones, in case the nylon melts. And then screw it onto the stud. I did notice when I when I did this, as I'm gonna tighten it up, there's another little part I had to trim just a tad. Let's get that, snug it up. It not have to be super tight, as long as it's on there good, that metal lock nut's not gonna move. Shouldn't anyways. So that's on there nice and tight now. So what I noticed is when I sucked that cover down a bit, it came real close to the compression release and made it not uh, activate properly or go in properly. So I just had to grind a little bit out of the corner here. Not a big deal. So that there, um, I'm pretty confident it's gonna work. I know it will, like I did with the 661s. I did the same thing. They got that goofy nut on top with that rubber washer. Get that out of there, put a flat washer down there with a, a five mil lock nut, 
on a 661 and that that'll save that top cover from coming loose and wearing out as well also when i did this actually the original little grommet still fits on top too just push that in there wham bam you got her so yeah that's a good fix for the top cover of a 500i i'm gonna try to start doing that to each one of them that leave the the shop on orders we'll see how it goes um what else is there that come up just thought about yesterday hmm. not much keep, keep this area clean around here the wires eh you know it's gonna take some compressed air and blow off around there so it doesn't get so much build up we're not into the rainy season yet so let's see what happens when that happens eh all the build up of grime and wetness um, that's about it today on that 500 i just wanted to do a short one and just show you out there like i say other than that they're working real real fine i got that 400 here still that i uh, measured up the other day i showed you guys and uh gonna do a little bit of work to that and get it out to a, out to a customer so yeah there you go i'm gonna port up 3120 right now for a fellow over in the main line at chillwack and another 390. So yeah, hey, keep your saw on the wind. Stay cool. Have a great day.